Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the channel. Very short Lightroom Tuesday today. We're going to talk about a new update to Lightroom. So folks, there is an update to Lightroom today and it is to 7.3.1, which is a bug fix update. So there's obviously no new features because it's only a double dot release. There are a few very important bug fixes there. The very first one is that presets that weren't converting properly will now convert properly with 7.3.1. A few people are having a problem with the new presets and uh, basically they weren't converting everything. So they weren't having access to some of their custom presets but that's now been rectified with 7.3.1. And when you run it, it should automatically convert any presets that have not been previously converted. And speaking of presets, some of the black and white legacy presets, when you converted them, they would basically go to Adobe Standard instead of to Adobe Monochrome, which meant that your black and white preset was still in color. So this has been fixed as well. You will be delighted to hear. I know of a few people that are having definite issues with this. One thing that I did cover in some of my videos over the last week or two is and uh, Nate Photographic had done some work to sort it out. Boom, boom. But however, they have now fixed the sort order issue inside presets. So they will now sort correctly. So you, you don't need to do anything on your part whatsoever, but it has been sorted. On the black and white front as well, you weren't able to copy or sync some of the settings for black and white. That's now also been fixed. You'd be delighted to hear. There is one other major fix, which I'm going to talk about now and is mostly for Windows. And that is that Lightroom was corrupting backups of its catalog. Yes, that's right. And this has been reported in the forums as well, but they have worked on it and have got this fixed. So what you need to do is update to 7.3.1 and then back up your catalog to have a, a, a working backup. And they recommend that you do that immediately. Now there is one other thing, a, an issue that is going on, and that is that some people are finding that when they go and hover over a preset, what it does is it takes a couple of seconds to, for the preview to appear. And that essentially locks them out of the machine and it's giving them awful trouble. Now, I'm not seeing this and nobody in my immediate circle is seeing this, but it's definitely on the forums. So what's going to happen is they're talking about the possibility of creating a preference and you will basically be able to turn that off altogether inside the preferences. But it's not in this version, but they are talking about having it out soon. Now, on another note, uh, we've been running along here nicely for about a year and a month now that I've been running the channel here, like with a video or two videos at least every week and three videos some weeks. And I've been saying over the past while, so now if you have no interest in my channel, you can just stop watching right now. So I am going to do a split on the channel. I know I don't want to do a split on the channel, but I can't change the channel to my name and, you know, I may as well keep it as Lightroom blog. And for that reason, it will be an exclusively a Lightroom or Adobe related channel. For the, all the other stuff that I do, the lighting, the, uh, you know, well, I mean, I can do plugins and stuff like that on this channel because they are external editors to Lightroom and they're still connected to Lightroom from that point of view. But for more general stuff about them, if I'm doing tutorials on them directly, I'm probably going to do them on my other channel, which is Sean McCormick. And that is me as in my personal channel. And I will be doing from there. I have like two subscribers on it. And that's why I don't do anything on it. But it's now time to start putting all of that stuff over on that channel and just starting to build it up. Now that is going to be pretty painful for me because of the fact that you don't get any support from Adobe or not from Adobe from uh, Google whatsoever, you know, until you have a thousand subscribers. So folks, if you are still watching, please go over and subscribe to that channel. And uh, I will have content on it later on in the week. I might even pull some of the older content from this channel and just move it to there as well. So, but we'll see. Anyway, folks, you can subscribe to this channel as well if you haven't already. And at least two thirds of the people watching my videos haven't subscribed. So please do subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to get notified of new videos. And of course, like and share. Like, 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 share, 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 share. All right, folks, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, so I have to make the decision about Photo Fridays. I may do a Photo Friday video on Friday. That's basically going here. Here's my new channel and Photo Friday video is on that channel. All right, folks. So again, thanks for watching. 
and I will see you in the next video, whichever channel it's on.